very pleasant good morning to all today i am going to deliver a lecture on cyber crimes i am dr bt sampat kumar working as a professor in the department of library and information science tumkur city tumkur before we get into the topic let me speak few words about cyber world as you know very well the cyber world or cyber space is more than just the internet it refers to online environment where many participants are involved in social interactions and have the ability to affect and influence each other people interact in cyber space through the use of digital media now let us see what is cyber library a cyber library is a digital resource that replaces a traditional hard copy library cyber libraries are becoming more common ways to make library resources digital and enable more versatile access the library website database archives e resources like e journals e books e reference sources all comes under cyber library who is librarian a librarian is a library and information professional who is specialized in using the internet as a resource tool using internet librarian can provide effective services to the user community with this understanding let us understand what is cyber crime before that let me speak why we how to aware of cyber crimes and cyber criminals cyber criminals often commit crimes by targeting computer computer networks databases website email instant depository and many more so we have to aware of cyber criminals as well as cyber crimes let us see what is crime as you know very well a crime is an illegal act for which someone can be punished by the government a crime is an act that breaks a law kidnapping is a crime murder robbery theft these are all different crimes normally we can see in the society for which india has its own code called ipc indian penal code it is the main criminal code of india it is intended to cover all substantive aspects of criminal law cheating for which phone 420 is ipc code robbery 397 theft 378 hurt 319 giving false evidence is also a crime for which the ipc code is 191 attempt to commit suicide 309 now let us see what is cyber crime a cyber crime is a crime that involves a computer and a network any criminal act dealing with computer and network is called cyber crime so when it comes to the cyber crime statistics out of the top 10 most targeted countries by cyber attackers india ranks fourth recently there was a statement in the newspaper stating that bengaluru is the india's cyber crime capital bengaluru registered the most number of cyber crime cases in the year 2018 nearly 27482 cases of cyber crimes reported in the year 2017 one attack in india every 10 minutes cyber crimes in kerala increases by 10 to 15% every year cyber crimes may be against the person against the property against the government now let us see the different types of cyber crimes hacking email bombing salami attack email spoofing email stalking data diddling denial of service attack phishing virus or war button or we can say malware these are all different cyber crimes let us understand what is hacking computer hacking is the practice of modifying computer hardware and software hacking generally refers to unauthorized entry into a computer or a network hacker is a person who breaks password to gain unauthorized entry to computer system hacker gains unauthorized access to system or network in order to commit crimes 
Now let us understand what is email bombing. A email bombing is sending off massive amount of email to a specific person or system. A huge amount of mail may simply fill up the recipient's disk space on the server and may cause the server to stop functioning. Salami attack. A salami attack is used for the purpose of committing financial crimes. Criminals steal money or even resources a bit at a time from financial accounts and a system. Cyber stalking. The act of making untrue statements about another which damages his or her reputation is called cyber stacking. Now let us see what is data diddling. A data diddling is the changing of data before or during entry into the computer system. What is web jockey? The process of gaining access and control over the website of another is called web jockey. The information may be manipulated or changed on the website. Recently, the Institute of Mysore website has been hacked. So, Institute of Mysore website hacked, jihadi message posted. Of course, Kuom Institute website was also hacked by Pro Park team. Now, let us see what is the denial of service attack. It is an attempt to make a computer or network resource unavailable to its intended users. The computer is flooded with more requests that it can handle which cause it to crash. What is phishing? Phishing is an attempt to acquire sensitive information such as username, password and credit card details. Recently, I got a message to my website stating that your active mobile number has won 3 crore 35 lakhs and BMW car. For client sign, your name, address, mobile number, age, occupation to bmwmobn at gmail.com. Had I sent the details, I would have lost money in my bank account. Virus are warm attacks. Viruses are the programs that attach themselves to a computer or a file and usually affect the data on a computer system either by altering or deleting the data. Now let us see what is misleading applications. A misleading application misguide you about the security status of your computer. It shows you that your computer is infected by some malware. You have to download the tool to remove the threat. As you download the tool, it shows some threats in your computer and to remove it. You have to buy the product for which it asks your personal information like credit card information, which is very dangerous. Let us see about AdBank. It is an application in which advertising banners are displayed while any program is running. It can automatically get downloaded to your system while browsing any website. It can be viewed through pop-up windows or through a bar that appears on a computer screen automatically. Adware is used by companies for marketing purpose. Spamming. A spamming is a method of flooding the internet with copies of the same message. They are sent as unwanted or junk email to users. These spammers are very annoying as it keeps coming every day and keeps your mailbox full. Now let us see a spyware. A spyware is a type of program that is installed with or without permission of your personal computer to collect the information about the users, the files in the computer, the browsing habits without your knowledge and then it can be sent to the remote users. So this is all about the cyber world, cyber crimes. I hope you have enjoyed this session. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot.